let's quickly solve this okay so to get to simplify this is easy first of all let's simplify square root of 27 but before that let me recopy this so that i'll have enough space to work with so we have root 27 to the power of root 3 divided by root 3 to the power of root 27 perfect see lots of spaces that i just saved now let us solve this first of all um root 27 can be expressed as is equal to square root of 9 multiplied by 3 right and this is the same thing as square root of 9 multiplied by square root of 3 which is also equal to square root of 9 will give us 3 so we are going to have 3 root 3 so i'm going to replace root 27 here with 3 root 3 okay so let's go ahead and do that now this is equal to 3 root 3 3 root 3 okay raised to the power of what root 3 divided by root 3 raised to the power of 3 root 3 okay let me give space root 3 to the power of 3 root 3 perfect so now we have at this point when you have a power and you have two numbers inside the bracket simply means that this is raised to the power of this and this is also raised to the power of this so we have 3 raised to the power of root 3 multiplied by what root 3 raised to the power of root 3 divided by what root 3 raised to the power of root 3 cubed yes that is because when you have this a to the power of mn okay that is m times n is same thing as a to the power of m raised to the power of n or a to the power of n raised to the power of m okay so all i did was to bring in these three inside and i raised this to the power of what three all right now this is equal to now root three to the power of root three to the power of root three cubed simply can be expressed as so i will express this as three raised to the power of root three multiplied by root three of uh, raised to the power of root three now i will express this as what root three raised to the power of root three raised to the power of two plus one right okay now this is equal to if this is the first time you're coming across this channel please subscribe subscribe okay now let's continue i want us to be faster now so when you look at this when you have a number this plus this as a number in indices when you have a to the power of m plus n this simply means a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n okay so let's go ahead and do that here so when you do that you will have that this is what three raised to the power of root three okay multiplied by root three raised to the power of root three divided by so i'm going to raise this to the power of this and multiply it by itself so it's going to be root three raised to the power of root three squared multiplied by root three raised to the power of root three raised to the power of one right which is still root three to the power of root three okay perfect now please ignore the shadow so what we have here now is three to the power of root three divided by now i want us to switch this the position of this and this okay so to switch the position we have root three okay squared raised to the power of what root three now this is equal to we have three raised to the power of root three three raised to the power of root three divided by now when square meets square roots both of them cancel out right so what we have is 3 raised to the power of root 3. <laughs> you can see how easy it is. And when you finally divide, then your answer becomes 1. Interesting. So don't forget to subscribe and to on your notification bell if this is the first time you are tuning into this particular page. 